Hey guys, Mark from Gunpla Network. Welcome to my special unboxing courtesy of the awesome guys at Side 7 Exports. Gus, big thanks for sending this our way to review on GN. As you can see here, it's an awesome looking box. This is the MS-05S Shah Aznable Zaku one. Now, it's high grade Gundam the Origin, but it's got a difference. You can see there, you've got Mr. Kunio Okawara's signature on the front. This is a specially designed box art by him. So if you're gonna keep any box art, get this and keep this one because you could literally cut this out, uh, I don't know, stick it in a photo frame and put it on a wall and it's literally art. All right, let's take a look around. I'll go into what's special about this kit other than the box later, once we unbox. You can see there, picture of Shah Zaku 1 with the kind of salmon pink and a red. Uh, if I get that to focus, you'll be able to read. There's a blurb about what the um, MS-05S was. Um, more of the box art, it's MSD and origin line. Uh, there's just information about Bandai Spirits. Obviously it's Bandai Spirits because it's a new box. Um, or new kit, sorry, for 2019. So there's Shah uh, in his pilot suit, which he rarely wore, and some information about Xeon's ace pilot, Shah Reasonable. If you haven't seen Origin, get on and see that. It, you can either get in the six part OVAs or the new 12, 13 part series. This box is just stunning. I love this box. I usually keep all of my box arts, but I'm actually tempted to put this one on my wall. So if we get it right there, let's take a look. So other than the very special box art you get, you then get the also same looking on the guide. Move that aside. There we go. So signed booklet as well. And original looking art, which is pretty awesome. So it matches on the front of the box. This is just beautiful. I, I love this. Okay, now if we flick around to the back, so there's more of the red, red char. Um, this one comes with water slides. So you will get a sticker sheet and a water slide sheet. That is one of the main differences. There's three main differences about this kit compared to a standard MS-05S that you could pick up that's uh, not, not a limited kit. Now, Side 7 has these, so if you're after one, go and order it before he sells out. There's your paint guide, a look at the standard design, um, and the water slide marking guide. Pretty standard looking booklet other than that. Um, I imagine most of it was the uh, original. Now, what you're gonna see is a few X's. Um, well, actually, probably not. You are gonna have leftover. Yeah, there are a few X's there. You're gonna have some leftovers from this kit because what you've got is essentially, you could make this as two kits. You could make it as the standard or you could make it as the limited edition, which is more pink and red versus red and red. So it's up to you. It'll tell you which way to make it, which is the pink uh, kind of older school looking Shah Zaku, but it's up to you. Uh, there is the water slide sheet. Now this is what you wanted. Um, if I can get to focus up a bit, there. So you've got your sticker sheet and this is your water slide sheet. So really cool because rarely ever do you get a HG that comes with, the origin sticks uh, kits are known to come with stickers, but also a water slide sheet. That is just uber cool. Not only that, because you can then keep the stickers for something else. Now, if we go back to the booklet, uh, you can see your runner and part count guide there. And then this is, uh, it's a bit of a fold out one, not a booklet. Sorry guys, I'll just try and get a hold of it. Pretty standard, you're gonna start with the body. It's gonna have English, cause it's a recent kit. Um, it looks pretty standard uh, there on how you'll make this. Body, head, and th these origin kits are insanely good looking. I've been dying to do one, so this is just doubly awesome for me. Uh, you then move on to the waist. Um, left arm, right arm. Yep, the shield. Okay, and then over to the back page, um, you get the feet times two, and then you'll do left leg, right leg as pretty standard.
Ah, and then it opens up to some color pages. So like I said, you'll have some leftover parts because originally the HG Origin was red, red. Uh, this is just the main assembly now for everything. Um, and then the weapons and accessories. But what you you could build it either way. It's up to you, but I'll build it in the pink way it's meant to be. Then you'll have some leftover parts, which is really cool if you're a modifier and painter. So you get the machine gun, you'll get a standard machine gun, or then, which is the 05S, you can have the belt fed machine gun, which plugs into the backpack. You get a heat hawk and you get um, a action base adapter. So that's the booklet. We'll just quickly run through the part count uh, and all of the runners. Sorry, my neighbor has decided he now needs to urgently hose something with high pressure in his backyard, so you'll be hearing that. There's your A1, sorry, we'll do that again. A1, this is all kind of like the salmon pink. All right, you're gonna have leftover parts, but that's good. You can use those later if you wanna change, you can mix and match the color schemes. Here's your B1 and your B2. So B1, different, different colors, which is weird. There's like knees, feet, stuff like that, covers in a gray. B2 is like a ready pink. It's, you know, different to the A1 runner. Then you get to your C runner and C runner has red on it. Now D1, has that gray charcoal, or not charcoal, but just a, a kind of like a dark gray on it. And they'd be joints and covers. D2, double up of the same, and that's because that's just the way it is. You need two of everything. E runner, there's your neck cover, some uh, feet thrusters, I'm guessing at the bottom color there, dark gray again. F, here's your hands and your heat hawk. Now you get a heat hawk that's either active or non-active, but not colored, so you'll have to paint that if you want. Your G runner, here's more of the pink. Now, if you compare the G runner to the, um, I think the C, you'll see there's some double up in parts. You won't need all those. There's some rifle bits. Um, yeah, there's a ton of stuff there. Now, more rifle bits on the H2 because you get two guns with this, which is really cool. So you could dual wield guns if you really wanted. Shoot a uh, poly caps. All right. So if we throw all that back in there, this is a really exciting kit to have guys. Um, I don't think I've seen any other unboxings or reviews of it. So I'll try and push this one out as quick as I can before Christmas to get to you. Might be between Christmas and New Year's release on the channel. Big thanks to Side 7 Exports. Remember to go over, Order this on his website. All the prices will include shipping. He ships worldwide, not just America, Canada, Australia, whatever. Worldwide. Um, he's based in Japan. He does runs to the Gundam base to get stuff. Um, so if you have a special request, you could always try messaging on the website and see how you go. This is a really awesome box. I love the signature. I love the box art. It's just literally a work of art. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you on the review. Bye-bye.